A leading professor a number of years ago in Israel, a professor of ethics, was caught doing an unethical act, acting in an Im in immoral way with a woman of ill repute. And the person was asked, how can it be that a professor of ethics acts in an, une in an unethical way? And his answer was quite remarkable. He said, does a professor of mathematics have to be a triangle? What I teach is what I teach. Who I am is who I am. The same has supposedly been said about Aristotle and other philosophers, that what you teach and what you espouse is one thing. Who you are is another. Nothing could be further from the truth in Judaism. Everything we study in the head has to make its way into the heart and transform, transform who we are as a person. This is exactly the essence of what is mentioned about the qualities needed for the building of the Mishkan to bring God's presence into the world. When we speak about B'Tzalel, Ben Uri, this um, incredible craftsman, he doesn't only need brilliance and professionalism, he needs, as it says time and time again, it says he needs chokhmah, tvuna, vedat, ruach Hashem. He needs the spirit of Hashem, which will fill his heart. And what is that spirit? One of chokhmah, tvuna, obina, and da'at. And in Midrashim and in many Rishonim, it seems that the, the, uh, the, the uh, quality of chokhmah, divina, bina, vedat are as follows. Chokhmah is knowledge, intellectual knowledge. Bina is in-depth knowledge, being able to analyze and tell the difference between what we've learned. And da'at is internal identification, transformation, that what we learn goes from the head to the heart and transforms our lives. And indeed, the expression more than any other regarding B'Tzalel is Chochmat Halev, Chacham Lev, a person is, is Chochma in the heart, so to speak, where intellectual knowledge is transformed into internal identification, transforming character, and that brings God's presence into the world. I uh, heard from uh, a Rosh Hashiva recently that uh, in the book Share Yosher, of Rav Shimon Shkop, one of the great um, um, Talmudic minds of the last uh, generation, Rav Shimon Shkop. Anyone who's learned Talmud in Eon in depth knows about Rav Shimon Shkop. And in his book, Shara Yosher, in his introduction, he says that all of the categories and intellectual um, brilliance that's going to be, he doesn't say the word brilliance, but all of the incisive definitions of Talmud and Halakha that are going to be studied in this book will not have any impact on you, on the reader, if one doesn't work on one's character traits, if one's midot is not worked on. Only the intellectual knowledge will only penetrate the heart if one indeed works on transforming our quality. And Bezrat Hashem, may we all, in our personal and leadership lives, and no one is immune, not rabbis, not le learned people, no, no one is immune from the tremendous hard work of what we learn in our heads, being transformed into our heart and transforming character. And Bezrat Hashem, may we walk the walk and walk the talk and everything we study to when we are Chachamim and Mevinim, may they transform us into Yodim. When we daven for that knowledge, that intimate knowledge, that identification, that who we are, what we learn about is who we are and what we study transforms us into the people we want to be. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.